just a little bit of insight for you guys and girls about the FAB schematics and the zombie fire. Zombie fire basically can convert your la the last stand units of the enemy buildings into zombies, which will end up fighting for you. Um, all the information is pretty much in front of you as I'm pointing them out. You know, I'm just going to get basically talk through this. You can get extra range if you wanted to do that, or you can also get extra damage to all. Uh, if you decide to choose one of them two, obviously you've already missed out because you got the napalm effect that gives you pretty much what you just you can choose between the two, which gives you a damage to all and gives you an extra range. Uh, plus, the napalm effect actually has a bigger blast radius in comparison to the flamethrower, which means that you can tag a lot more um, enemy units with it. Uh, the supercharge, well, sorry, the charge, the engine side of it is um, easily unlocked, or if you have not already done so, unlocked it through your um, suicide trucks or Razorbacks. Uh, I, I would say the most expensive one of the engines are the supercharge engine, with cost, with the cost of thorium and resins at the same time. Obviously, it's, the, the the upgrade time is um, second, well, five seconds in between the, the all five. Um, you get its increased speed of movement and acceleration. We're going to move over to the armor now, which you should have unlocked through either the Rhino or the Paladine. So it shouldn't be too. You shouldn't be too. Um, how can I say? Uninformed about it because you would have added, you would you would have used it already. As you can see, it was an air and ground armor, obviously, and the uh, ionized armor as well which I, I don't really favor it too much. The one I favor a lot is the um, the speed armor, which gives you an extra speed movement, acceleration, and obviously you get 10% extra damage you will take from any. With the heavy one, you'll take less damage, but obviously all the speeds have been reduced, which sucks. Uh, we're gonna go over to the wheels. There's one specific thing I wanna talk about the wheels here. Uh, the lost tech wheels are cryo, uh, anti cryo wheels, which it does not. If the cryo um, hits your FAV, they do not slow down whatsoever. So, there's uh, the insight of my FAV, and hopefully, you've enjoyed and got some ideas. Good luck, guys and girls.